So in this video, we're going to introduce confidence intervals, and we're going to use the same example as last time we did for population proportions. So how many students in Ireland are studying higher level Irish? So we got our sample proportion from asking 500 people, and we found that 155 out of the 500 are studying higher level. So that's equal to 0.31 here. And we know that the real population proportion is around uh, 0.31. So that kind of squiggly equals to sign means like an estimate or roughly. But that's not a very kind of mathsy way of estimating it. So we're, we're going to put kind of a number on our estimate. So we're going to bring back the margin of error. So remember the margin of error is equal to 1 over the square root of n, where n is the sample size. Uh, so we can sort of find how big our error is. So 1 over the square root of 500, we're going to find that that's equal to 0 0.0447, which is about 4.47%. Okay, so how does that help us construct a confidence interval? I'll show you here now. So we'll scroll down. Those are our numbers. Um, so this error here, 0 0.047, that could be plus or it could be minus. So it could be um, plus zero, like 0 0.31 plus this or 0 0.31 minus this. So the way we write it is we know that P lies somewhere between 0 0.04, sorry, no wait. P lies somewhere between 0 0.31 plus 0 0.0. 447 so we made it there's a margin of error because of our sample size that it could actually be a little bit bigger or else that it could be uh, 0 0.31 minus 0 0.447 so because of our sample size we it could actually be a little bit smaller and our sample just happened a few more people than normal happened to do it so if we put those numbers in we'll get our confidence interval which is 0 0.2653 less than p is less than 0 0.3547 so that's kind of what a confidence interval is that we're we can be confident that our value of p so the actual amount of people that do uh, higher level irish in the country is between say 26 percent and 35 percent yeah so that's what the confidence interval is so i'll explain later can i so i'll say we are um i'll say quite confident that P is between those things there. And the reason I'm saying quite confident is we're gonna introduce a better way in the next video where we can be 95% confident, All right? So this one, they sort of introduced it at the start um, when they brought in statistics to the leaving cert, but they decided it wasn't accurate enough, so they brought in a new one. So I'm showing you the old one first just to give you an intro to confidence intervals, but in the next one, we're gonna talk about 95% confidence intervals where you can be 95% sure that you're right in saying the population is between these two points okay so uh, that's it for this video hopefully that makes clear what a confidence interval is so you always say your uh, watch the purple up here your population proportion minus your margin of error and then your population proportion or your say your sample proportion plus your margin of error and we know that the population should lie between these two uh, these two limits in this interval, right? Um, so yeah, that's it for confidence intervals, or that's it for the basic confidence intervals. In the next video, we're gonna look at them again in more detail. So we'll see you then. If you liked the video, uh, then like and subscribe, share with your friends, and yeah, we'll see you next time.